So I think everything started like a couple of years ago. I was in, uh, in, in Malapasqua. When the tide was low, you could actually see them. So you could carefully work into, walk into the sand and actually have a, a out of the water contact with them, right? So I was filming uh, and taking photos of them and I got very close to the, to the species, no? to what the animal and mineral is. Why you have uh, an idea for an artwork? This is something you collect inside you for a couple of years. Every year I choose a different animal, I choose a different topic. So this year's topic was uh, uh, about the ocean conditions and corals just uh, came because it was inside me basically. Now that you ask me actually, I remember the very first beginning, the very first contact that I had and I can go through the path that was like a, a long journey of uh, very small emotions until uh, somehow the connection with Jeju Island came in Korea. I went there uh, to get the diving license and uh, to finally be able to see them in a very, very deep water. And, uh, and there it was very, very strong, the impact, because somehow when you're underwater, things uh, look bigger and closer. Corals is a series of uh, 3D printed sculptures and they have a sort of uh, filament on the top attached to loudspeakers that function as the polyps. And uh, what is happening is that different type of sounds get into the loudspeakers and the high frequencies they generate the evolving soundscapes and the low frequencies they generate the movement. Now, the high frequencies and low frequencies, they are triggered by different type of data provided by NOAA, the Coral Reef Watch, the NASA, and Copernicus. The data sets we use for the works are bleaching alert areas, uh, sea surface temperatures, anomalies, waves, uh, currents, and biological data. Each one of these parameters interacts with the work in a different way. Starting from the bleaching alert areas, um, they trigger different type of uh, machine learning models that were trained with shamanistic music from around the world. The collaboration with the scientists started at the coffee table. So we had many ideas uh, discussing about AI, but it quickly, we quickly narrowed it down to the core of the project. Artists and scientists work in different structures. These challenges, not only in terms of uh, work organization, but also in terms of understanding each other, can lead to frictions that are beneficial for the artists and for the scientists to learn for their own practice. My personal takeaway with corals is the, that I had the possibility finally to work with the AI and machine learning and this let me discover a whole new work, a new possibility for, for the future works to come. <laughs>